Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is the IEPPV May image competition, the second of five for 2021. Once again, we're online and uh, we've been online for a long time, uh, even before COVID. Obviously, COVID kind of kept us online, but uh, the model has worked very well for us. Um, we have three amazing judges uh, and they are spread to the four corners of the earth. Well, not quite, but very close. First, we have Colin Bushell, who comes to us from Brisbane in Australia, which is right next door. And uh, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning for him, but he's uh, happy to join us. Next, we have uh, Dennis um, Hammond, and Dennis is from Idaho. Now, Dennis, which part of Idaho? I, I... Idaho Falls. I'm the eastern part of the Idaho Falls, uh, 90 miles from Yellowstone Park. So we're... There we go. Dennis's backyard is actually behind him. Um, not that we're jealous or anything. <laughs> and then finally, we have Michael Collins, who used to be in California and deserted us for another part of Idaho. I, Michael, which part of Idaho are you in? I'm in Meridian, which is right next door to Boise. Got it, got it. And, and then, Colin, you uh, originally started out in, in London. It turns out that uh, our families grew, um, grew up uh, very close together. And then uh, and how long have you been out in Australia? Uh, yep, I've been here since 1998. So, uh, yeah. Originally from West London, and uh, yeah, now an Australian citizen of some years standing. Good for you. So we have an international uh, cast of characters. As you know, we've split the competition into two divisions. We'll start with the master division. The master division is for people who have a master's degree or equivalent, but it's also open for photographers to elect if uh, to um, enter if they wish. The master division will be judged at a standard just below that of a state competition, the PPC state competition. And the idea is that really it's a stepping stone. Once you've um, you know, gone through a regular competition, you can progress to there. It's a stepping stone towards PPC and thence on to uh, regional and uh, the um, international uh, competition. So the judges have been briefed on the expectations. The model is exactly the same. It's just the standards, just that little bit higher. When we finish the master division, we'll then go into the regular division, which is judged at the same as any other um, you know, PPA affiliate uh, level. And uh, at the end of that, we will then have a review of the best of, um, uh, best of category to make sure that we haven't got any tie breaks. And the judges will then select a best of show. As audience, you get to watch this entire process so they know that they're on their best behavior and uh, they'll all be nice, but uh, there will probably be some lively discussion. At the end of it, hopefully, we'll come up with a winner and then we'll celebrate that and let you know who won all the different categories. With that, let us proceed. Uh, we are recording this and we'll have this obviously posted later. Starting with the Master Division, and the first category is the Master Illustrative category. The illustrative category is kind of a catch-all. It's for images that don't belong in other categories. Um, it's judged more for photographic than for post-production. We do have a photographic artist um, category specifically for that. The first image in the master uh, illustrative category is B-Boy Dancer. B-Boy Dancer. Judges, you can enter your school. Final score is 82. Final score is 82, and uh, Dennis, uh, sorry, Colin, why don't you start this off as judge number one? Yeah, look, it's a, it's a very dynamic uh, photograph. I uh, There's a, quite a lot going on with the overspill of the image from the background and the, uh, and the white around the image. Um, I think that's probably where I scored a little bit lower. I think it's a little bit too busy for my mind in terms of that sort of three-way um, sort of uh, layering. Um, but if, if used in this category, which is exactly what we're looking at here, it's, uh, it's very dynamic, love the pose, um, and um, would be a great piece of sort of advertising material, um, but generally a, uh, an exceptionally good image. Thank you. Next image in the Master Illustrative category. Will this help? Will this help?
And Georges, you can add your score. Image scores 80 points. Uh, Dennis, this one's yours. Well, thank you. No, I scored this a 78 in above average category. Although I love the storytelling part of the image, I felt like them dissecting the bottom part of the image uh, kind of hurt the image. I like the, the white mat with the fine art part, but I wish there was more definition in the bodies and and uh, what was going on because we, they're almost void of any kind of definition there. So I would like to see that. But if this was, um, Rihanna, this would actually be fit into a reportage category as well, maybe. But I liked it. Thank you, Dennis. Okay. Next image in the uh, Master Illustrator category is Uncle Martian. Uncle Martian. Image scores 82 points. Uh, Michael, this one's with you. I scored this image in 82. Um, I really enjoyed it when it came around. A lot of good impact. The the color harmony on it is fantastic. Um, the eyes could be brought out just a touch more, although they are there. Just bring them out a little bit more would help. And then also maybe define a mouth area to make it as well. Because you gotta you got to eat even as a Martian. Uh, let me have a question here, Nick. Is there yeah, a way? Uh, no, is there any way? Because I'm seeing uh, the border and everything in my image, but I'm not seeing the bottom part of the screen. And maybe that's what I'm seeing from the last one. Um, can those be resized so they're all in this full size or see the whole image? Because I'm not seeing the bottom part of the image on my screen. Oh, are you, are you watching it in the uh, Zoom meeting or are you looking at it on the web link? Well, let me double check here. Okay, there. Okay, I just resized. Okay, there I am. I'm back. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> I, I had to just resize. Thank you, guys. No, no problem. Listen, if that's the worst of our technical problems, we're in good shape. Yeah, we're in good shape. <laughs> okay, thank you. Next image, still staying with the Master Illustrative category, is Daily Grind. Daily Grind. Image score 79, and uh, Colin, we're back with you. Uh, yeah, I've uh, scored this an 82. Um, I really like it. On on first glance, it's actually um, it's exceptional, like with the uh, the light and the steam coming out of the subject's mouth. Uh, on closer examination, I'd probably want a slightly tighter crop um, from the left hand side in. Um, there's a little bit of distortion in the in the in the head of the cow at the front and. Uh, I'm not sure there's some post-production there with the, the lineage around the head. Um, but other than that, the uh, the light and the composition is good, apart from, as I say, that, um, that slightly tighter crop, I think, would give it a bit more dynamism. Thank you. Okay, the final image in the Master Illustrative category is Leader of the Pack. Leader of the Pack.
Image scores 82. Dennis, we're back with you. Well, yeah, I give this an 82. And, and, you know, I, uh, I like this image. I like the, the panel type effect of the image and then the silhouettes you know, of the people. I mean, they're my personal taste would have been like to see a little bit more of the people because we got definition in the background, but the maker's vision of this was the silhouettes. And so it created a gr very graphic image, which is very pleasing. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we have one image for review in the category, uh, which is Daily Grind. And I will go back to that one. Uh, Daily Grind. So, gentlemen, if you could either type yes or no uh, into the um, chat as to whether you'd like to, this to go up to a merit or stay where it is. And it becomes a merit. We have two yeses, so thank you very much, gentlemen. This one becomes a merit. Okay, the next category um, is the Master Landscape category. And, um, sorry, I beg your pardon. Losing track here. There we go. Got it. Uh, and the first image in the uh, Master Landscape category is a maze of flow. A maze of flow. Uh, looks like something's gotten stuck. Um, beg your pardon. There we go. Now you should see a maze of flow. Sorry about that, Dylan. Image scores 76 points. And Michael, this one's yours. I scored this image 77. Um, when it first came around, a lot of impact to it. Um, the very sharp, sharp, sharp rocks. And then you go into the very soft water. Um, and I noticed there's a lot of noise in the water area on the white, the whites of the water where the water's been smoothed out. Uh, and it kind of, it's hard for me to look at the image going back and forth between the extremely sharp rocks and the very soft water. It just, a challenge on my eyes. Thank you, Michael. Next image, uh, still with the master landscape, is trees as art. Trees as art. Sorry, image score 79 points, and Colin, we're back with you. Yeah, thanks, Nick. Um, I think it's a very striking image. Initially, it's uh, when you look at it, it's uh, it's very impactful. A um, couple of observations. I'm not sure the the uh, the black and white treatment um, works. It's it's sort of warming up um, an image that uh, should otherwise be quite cold. Um, and also, I, I, it's an optical illusion probably, but with that big tree on the left-hand side in the foreground, it's creating the impression of a la of slight lean towards the left-hand side. And with the leading line through the middle and the lean to the left-hand side, it looks slightly off balance. Um, but on, as, a, as a sort of initial sort of view, it's a, it's a very striking image and I gave it 79. Thank you, Colin. Okay, and then the next image within the Master Landscape Division is um, Monsters Within the Sea. Monsters Within the Sea.
Okay, image scores 77 points. And uh, Dennis, we're with you. Well, thank you. Um, I give this a 76. And uh, let me explain why. I mean, this was an interesting capture, but I just felt like it was hard to land on anything in here. And uh, I understand my they can see a monster thing there but the biggest problem for me was the lack of sharpness through the whole thing and so that was what's keeping me out of the merit category got it thank you i'm having some challenges on me oh there we go um okay and then the final image in the master landscape category is mount rainer at twilight mount rainer at twilight I apologize, Mount Rainier at Twilight. Mount Rainier. Image score 78 points. Michael, this one's yours. I scored this is 78, I believe. 78. Um, when it first came around, there's a lot of impact there. I love the foreground, the colors, the, the orange flowers and then the, the purple flowers and you get into the green. Uh, you get to the mountains with the purples and all the beautiful colors and you get to Mount Rainier itself and it is extremely bright compared to the rest of the image. If that was toned down a little bit, um, maybe 10% or more, it, I think this would be a merit image, but right now the, that mountain is just way too bright for the rest of the image. Thank you, Michael. Okay, we have two images for review. Um, the first is trees as art. Um, I have to step back to it because uh, trees as art. Can you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Please. Image remains the same. And then the second is Mount Rainier at twilight. Again, thumbs up, thumbs down. Stays the same. Okay, the next category is the master nature category. Um, and the first image in the master nature category, ma <coughs> excuse me, the first image in the master nature category is shy, shy. Image score 78 points, and Colin, we're back with you. Thanks, Nick. My, um, I, lo I love the color, the, uh, these, the colors of the, uh, the feathers in the foreground, uh, fantastic. My, my main observation with this is that I'm very much an eyes person. Uh, and I think with the highlights and the brightness of the birds, I was gonna say shoulder, if that's an anatomically correct uh, description, uh, I'm probably not, but uh, is is basically overwhelming the eyes and the and those facial features as we see them. Um, so I think it, it, it may have been difficult, may have uh, certainly been challenged by the existing light naturally, but uh, the fact that the eye is in some sort of shadow compared to that um, shoulder is distracting for me, but otherwise uh, a nice image. Thank you, sir. Next image in the Master Nature category, ghostly hammerheads, ghostly hammerheads.
and the image scores 80 points and uh, Dennis this one's yours for, I give it an 80 and first of all kudos to the diver for this is I I've dove in two and I'd have to change my wetsuit if I saw all these down there <laughs> um, so no I understand the no color changes at the depth and I think the maker has used utilized this to uh, bring in some uh, graphic natures and what nature can really do in nature and I enjoy it I mean could we have more saturation? Yes. Could we have more, uh, you know, pop in this? Yes. But I think as the maker present to it, I present the merit. So thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, okay. Next image in the uh, master nature category is Sunday swim time. Sunday swim time. Image scores 78 points, and uh, Michael, this one's yours. And I scored this a 78. Um, the image is beautiful as far as the capture of the whale. Um, the problem with the overall image is you have a big bright boat in the background, and then you have the dark tail towards the left with more darker stuff behind it, so it doesn't stand out as much. And you want that tail to stand out all by itself if you can. Um, and the upper, very top edge, about a third of the way across, you have a group of hot spots there. Um, those need to be toned down, taken out, uh, so your eye doesn't go away to the brightest point. Um, overall, I scored at 78. Thank you, sir. And then the final image in the Master Nature category is Eyes in the Sky. Eyes in the Sky. So about that image scores 86 points and uh Colin, i think we're back with you yeah thank you yeah, I, I mean it's i mean wow you know initially it's a it's a spectacular image uh, i love birds um the, the everything is uh, is is beautifully sharp uh, possibly a little bit too over sharp um there looks like there's been some sharpening done to the eyes uh, and around there, which is kind of in that way, there's from a contrast point of view, it's as bright underneath as it is under the wings as it is on top. Um, and um, but from that point of view, that's just as that contrast of the light on there is one thing that I would sort of question. Um, but other than that, I like the bleed through the frame as well. But uh, no, it's a very striking image. Thank you, sir. Okay, so that is the end of the magic master nature category and we have two images for review the first one is shy and i'm sorry i'm gonna have to step back to it there we go shy uh, again thumbs up or thumbs down if you would please remains the same and then the second one is sunday swim time remains the same Okay, the next division is, or next category is the Master Photographic Artist. And in the Photographic Artist, um, uh, clearly you're going to judge against the, the usual 12 points, but with strong emphasis on the post processing, the editing, and the, f uh, the, the Photoshop or you know, photographic work, uh, the, the, the graphics work afterwards as much as on the original image. Uh, the first image in the Master Photographic category is Transcendental Yogi. Transcendental Yogi.
is master artist required to have a thumbnail any thumbnails no not required but uh, requested okay thank you While the judges are judging, I'm going to see if I can do a better job of sharing the screen. Hopefully that looks a little better. I apologize if it's still showing stuff in the background. Not quite sure what was going. Anyway, the score image scores 80 points and um, uh, I think I've lost track, so I'm gonna give this to Dennis. <laughs> okay, super. Well, no, I give this an 80 and I thought this deserved a merit. I just thought it was an interesting approach to know that they can, uh, I wish that's why I asked for a thumbnail, what else they done to add to those other lines if that was something just in graphics there. But, you know, graphic piece, and they're taking it and put it together there. Uh, so I think they did a nice job, and so I give it a merit. Thank you, sir. Okay, and the final image in the Master Photographic category is Orangutan Creation. Or orangutan. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's meant to be Orangutan. Oh, it was actually yeah, spelled yeah. Orangutan. Yeah, spelled wrong, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we're required to read it as written. So it was submitted as a Rantatan creation. I leave it to the judges to... Now everybody's going to look up Rantatan. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for SARS right now. <laughs> Image scores 76 points, and Michael, this one's yours. I scored this 77. Um, when it first came around, it's like it explodes in your face with all that beautiful color, the greens and the blues and the purples. Um, I really loved it. And you can see the orangutan in the, in the face there. Um, once you get outside of the facial area, the sides... Um, the ground was, there was nothing done to it to, en to enhance the image. Um, and then also outside the green area around the eyes, the color there is just, or the, the, the rest of the image there is just kind of, yeah, it's there. Um, take a little time, do some work on the, on the rest of the image along with the face and you'd have yourself a merit image. Thank you, Michael. I do not believe we have any images for review oh, in none for, for this you. category. So the next uh, category is the Master Photojournalism category. And as a reminder, the photojournalism category is uh, for images that are captured and presented as court. So we allow the makers to do to the image what would be done in a darkroom, essentially dodging, burning, um, conversion to black and white, and minor cropping. Um, we encourage people not to crop so much that it changes the fundamental story. Um, although obviously we can't judge that, but uh, that's uh, on the honor system. So we only have a single image in the photojournalism category, and it is COVID boredom. COVID boredom.
do the spreadsheet. Oh, there you are. Image scores, 80 points. And Colin, we're back with you. Thanks. Um, it's, a, it's a very charming image. Um, who doesn't like a polar bear? Um, do love it. I, I, I come from a photojournalism background myself, and, uh, and the, from an image point of view, the crop point of view, this, it's definitely uh, it's superior. Um, I think it's possibly uh, pushing the uh, journalistic side to call it a COVID related um, sort of representation. Um, but that may be being a bit harsh, but uh, as an image goes, it's great. As a photojournalistic sort of representation, I'm not so sure, but uh, a nice image then, nonetheless. Thank you, sir. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was unmuted. Okay, uh, we have uh, no images for review in the uh, Master Photojournalism category, and next we have Master Portrait. In Master Portrait, we assume that the maker has absolute control over everything, lighting, posing, setup, costume, the whole bit. So um, there are no, nothing is left to chance. First image in the Master Portrait category is feeling the music, feeling the music. Image scores 80 points, and Dennis, this one's with you. Thank you. No, I scored this an 80 deserver of merit. Um, I thought it had a lot of impact going for it. You know, the gold dress, the glimmer, and the, the title went along with the image and the, the the way they presented it kept us within the image. The challenges I had was maybe the posing that they, they were shooting directly into the body. And I would like to see them maybe a little bit more turn sideways or shooting directly into the body. And then the front hands looked like they've been toned down so much according to even the density of the face. And so the hands and the arms were uh, toned down a little bit beyond uh, normal. So then that's how I landed in the 80 range. Got it. Thank you very much. Okay. Next image in the master portrait category is sophisticated beauty, sophisticated beauty. And the image scores 82 points. Michael, this one's yours. I scored this in 82. Um, I really enjoyed the image. The hat adds a whole lot of impact to it. It just takes over the scene a little bit, but it also frames her face in there as well. Um, a couple of minor retouches that could help it go up a little bit higher. On the bottom of the hat, there's where the threads come together one minor glitch there, not a big deal. And then also there's a earring hole in her ear that's sh showing here. Um, if there's not an earring in it, I would recommend taking it out so it's not a distraction. I realize it's just a small little pinpoint hole, but it's there and gives you something to look at. Nick, could I make a comment as well? Is yeah, please, a, sir. Um, I, I give this an 82 and I like the image. I feel if the image had been cropped a little tighter and cut those light traps off at the top and the back. And so if you were to cut across the whole top of the, of the hat and right the back of the head, I feel like there's three light traps that would have been cut off that would have, uh, because right now there's five light traps in this image and that would have cut part of them down and made that a stronger image. And maybe look at this as going through a black and white. I mean, you got that real bright shadow coming on the shoulder right there which um, I thought was maybe the specular too much, but I think this is a strong image and maybe cut off some of those light traps, I think would enhance that a lot. Thank you, I think black and white would work. Yeah, yep. 
Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate that. Okay. Next image in the master portrait category is Rockabilly. Rockabilly. Image scores 83 points and Colin, we're back with you. I've given this uh, an 85. I, I really like this. Um, it's a striking initial view. Um, I like the, the, the sort of reddish tones of the face. Uh, kind of ordinarily, I may be a bit critical of that, but I think that it works with the, the coloration of the lips uh, and the dark denim and that black hair. I think it's a, it's a really nice, nice looking image technically. Um, any observation would really be maybe a slightly different sort of uh, positioning of the uh, of the ratios so that he's a little bit further back in the frame, uh, a bit more sort of open space in the front. But other than that, it's, uh, it's a striking uh, and uh, enjoyable image. So we have a challenge from Michael. Michael, go ahead. Um, I think I might have underscored this. Um, I scored it a 78. Um, and listening to the comments, I think I might have been underscoring it. So I think maybe we should rescore it again. Okay. Uh, before we rescore, um, since I take it that's a, um, a, a that is effectively a challenge, whether it was worded or not, uh, gentlemen, do you have additional comments, Dennis? Uh, what is, what's your thoughts on the image? Well, I was in '84, and I was hinging on going up a little bit more. And a couple, of, you know, I agree uh, what has been said. You know, the center composition was a little uh, almost striking and it's almost a little different than a lot of people have but you know as i'm looking at it i'm also seeing a little glow around the back right uh, left shoulder uh and uh the head there where the, maybe the texture thing didn't go down i could go up to the next little category to 85 but boy it'd be tough to go any higher than that for me okay colin any additional comments i know you've already commented on it no, no, I think I, I scored it uh, an 85, and I think that would be uh, a fair score from my perspective. And Michael in rebuttal? A rebuttal, I'm just going to raise my score to 85. Okay, gentlemen, please rescore. I think I can do the math on that one. Image becomes eight points. <laughs> <laughs> Even my brain can get through that one. Then, okay. Yeah. Yes. Sir. I don't see. I don't see Michael's score typed in. Uh, yeah, it's there. I only see Dennis and. Oh, Michael, you know. sent yours only directly to me. Can you just, in. just, just for record, keep Oops, Michael. Yeah. I screwed it up. No, you <laughs> can just type it to everyone. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. There we go. So, Image scores eighty-five points. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Um, thank you. That was my, I sent Michael a note, so that was my, my mistake. Mm. Okay. Next image in the master portrait category is Othello. Othello. Image scores 82 points. And Dennis, this one is with you. Well, thank you. You know, Othello, what an interesting image, uh, you know, come across this uh, initial impact, had a lot of impact with the, the tonality, the composition, things there. But then when I sat and looked at it for a few more minutes, the technical aspects of it, uh, the extreme burning, the vignetting around the corners, I know they were trying to bring the attention down to the eyes and things, but the, the extreme burning is what came down. I really liked the story and what was 10 here. And then the eyes, as they're breaking across the bridge of the nose, I, I mean, I would, I'm sure that they got in their files, the maker, 
uh, of him engaging. And I think the, the eyes engaging the, the us as viewers would be a lot stronger. And then that bright area behind his chin, along his neck, behind the beard on the left-hand side would need to be toned down. But I would certainly try to avoid that uh, heavy vignetting and toning down there. Thank you. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which is muted and which is unmuted. Okay. Uh, so the final image in the master portrait degree, uh, master portrait degree, master portrait category is stretching, stretching. Image scores 79 points, and uh, Michael, I believe this one's yours. I scored this an image a 79. Um, interesting concept. Um, the the pose is interesting. I got lost with the foot going behind the big ball at the top. The right her right foot seemed to go behind the ball a little bit too far to where it just didn't look right to me. Um, everything else is really cool. So uh, I apologize. It looks like we have an issue with the scoring uh, that machine that should have come up as 81 points. I'm not quite sure why it said 79. Uh, I just did the math and it didn't work out. But uh, uh, sorry, Michael, I didn't mean to interrupt you there, but just wanted to make Yeah, Nick, I've been talking to mute. Sorry. Yeah, but staying on mute because I keep hearing somebody with a heavy breathing on the <laughs> on that. Okay, thing. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's wrong. It's eighty one. Eighty one points. So sorry, Michael. Um, anyway, uh, I'll I'll go let you go back to your comments. I didn't mean to interrupt, but no, I I finished my comments. I still scored it to seventy nine. Okay, and uh, so image scores eighty one points. Uh, we have um, no no review. Nothing for review. That was easy. Okay, the uh, next category in the master division is the master wedding category. And these are for images shot on the day of the event. Doesn't have to specifically be weddings. It could be weddings, continuous bar mitzvahs and so on. But they do have to be shot at the event. Uh, there's no sort of you know, pre uh, prep and so on. First image in the wedding master wedding category is the princess and the horse. The princess and the horse. Image scores 75 points, and Colin, we're back with you. Thanks, Nick. Um, first first comment is that obviously I can see exactly what the photographer is trying to do. Beautiful red dress, tiara, uh, horse, the, uh, the sort of association between the two is clear. Um, the overwhelming observation, though, is that it's just not sharp. Um, it's just not in focus, the horse uh, and the face. Uh, it appears that the depth of field has probably been uh, is out the foreground uh, dress very at the front there at the bottom that does seem to be much sharper than the face and whether that was a deliberate effect i don't know but i honestly don't think it works um so that's my main observation is that it's just lacking um the sharpness plus also um from a cropping point of view there's way too much uh, of the horse on the right hand side um, a, another sort of judicious crop would have uh, assisted with that sort of perspective as well. Thank you. Next image, in fact, the final image in the master wedding category is the bride. The bride.
Image scores Eddie one points, and Dennis, this one's yours. Well, kudos to the uh, photographer for finding this location, although it has a plethora of designs in this. I mean, it has so many things going on on it. You know, it's almost, uh, I'm glad the bride's in white and looking there. So uh, I wish the, they would have had it a little bit more like coming from the uh, let right side into her face but being a wedding day image i think the photographer captured a nice shot the girl of uh, the bride walking up the stairs probably into the church into the for the marriage but you know with all the tonalities and things going on there for wedding day capture uh boy that's a merit for me can i just throw a quick comment in there nick just yeah an observation and i don't know Please, how much room the photographer had to have moved around to the right hand side, but less so from the perspective of getting more in front of the bride, but to bring the, the tip point of the stairs where they reach that sort of uh, uh, the corner, if it could have been cropped so that the corner of the image, uh, that sort of the staircase goes into that corner, I think that may have been more effective. There's a lot of wasted space on that top right hand side of that wall just to create that effect of she's moving into the very, very corner of the frame where the staircase is, that description makes any sense at all. Good point. Thank you, Kai. Yeah, definitely appreciate the feedback. Okay, so that concludes the master division, and now we will step into the regular division. And uh, so um, we'll start off in the uh, regular commercial category, and these are for images that are of a commercial nature. They may or may not have been done under the uh, control of an art director, but they're definitely with a strong commercial intent. We have a single image in the commercial category, and it's lunchtime rooftop getaway. Now, we do have a tear sheet for this image, so when you're ready, I will show that. Could you repeat the title one more time, please? Sure. Lunchtime rooftop getaway. Could I see the sheet before I score it, please? Gentlemen, are you ready for the tear sheet? Yes. Okay. This is the tear sheet. And there's a description. I'll paraphrase it. Essentially, the photographer was shooting for display in the apparel store. And these are samples of similar images. Save you having to read the description. I do believe he shot all those images, too, in the apparel store, if I remember correctly. Thank you, son. I think you may be correct. Yeah. Can we go back to the image? Back to the image. Thank you. Okay, gentlemen, you can score. Image scores 82 points, and Colin, we'll start with you in the regular division. Yeah, look, seeing the other images, it, it clearly meets a, a brief, which is which is great. Outdoors, nice and bright, uh, well highlit, uh, lots of highlights, which is lovely. Uh, I would have moved the frame back a little bit more to uh, to avoid cropping that shadow off on the uh, her shadow on the back of the image, uh, and possibly those two um, sort of protrusions uh, on the roof to the left and to the right, um, if they could have been removed as well. Um, certainly looking at those other images that the uh, photographer has put together uh, that were part of the display, they were very clean lines, um, very clear colour contrast and no other distractions that I could see in them. So removing them for this image would make it more in line with them, but overall a, a solid uh, image. Thank you. Okay, that was the only image in the commercial category. Uh, we don't have any uh, for review. The next category is the illustrative category. And the first and sole image, actually, in the last iterative category is Black Crowned Night Heron. Black Crowned Night Heron. Image scores 79 points. And Dennis, we're with you. Well, thank you. 
you know, beautiful capture. You know, these are loosey little critters. But, you know, as I look at it, uh, I scored it a 78 uh, for a couple reasons here. I felt like the background was almost too sharp and we got too much going on in the background. Uh, then we look at the stick that the, the heron is on and it's very, very bright as in the light is coming in, the bird is very bright. But my biggest concern is that upper right hand side is so bright and then that little uh, hot spot above his head on the left hand side that all this, uh, I know the time of day and things contribute to this image. Uh, the, and then I felt like the heron was pushed in the top of the mat and I would like to see more space, but uh, that's just my observation when I'm looking at this, I felt like it was too big in the image. Thank you. Okay, this image is the sole image for review. If you would give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down before we move to the next category. Image becomes a merit. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, the next category is the landscape category. And the first image in the landscape category is day is done. Day is done. Image scores 80 points, and Michael, we're with you. I scored this in 81, um, and I definitely believe it's a merit image. Um, love the colors, the harmony, um, a couple of things that can improve the image. Uh, above the two towers, there's a bird, or what appears to be a bird. I would take that out because it's just a spot, not a full sized image of the bird and then the right tower looks like there's a little bit of ghosting around the top of the tower and the windows of the tower as well um, might consider next time dragging your shutter speed a little bit to allow the water to soften up just a little bit and then the right side of the image the pillars of the pier seem to be starting to tilt to the right just a little bit um, probably from the wide angle lens Thank you. Okay, the next image in the landscape category, and I apologize to the maker if I mispronounce this, but it's Mist on Mount Ihan. Mist on Mount Ihan. Image scores, any points, and Colin, we're back with you. Thanks, Nick. Um, yeah, look, it's uh, obviously a very beautiful scene, um, early morning, perhaps. Um, so on, on the first, on the face of it, it's a, it's a lovely black and white. A couple of observations, uh, and again, this may be um, something from a crop perspective, but I'm noticing in the top right-hand corner of the frame, very faint indeed, there's another layer of, uh, of landscape there, some... Uh, another hill in the distance with some trees on it. Um, and so I'm wondering whether a slightly uh, higher uh, ratio on this would have brought that into the, uh, into the shot entirely and made it part of the feature of the image. Maybe bringing the left-hand side of the image in as well um, because that's a bit wasted on the very far left-hand side. So I really don't know how much of this they got in their camera, but if they've cropped down, I'd bring that back up and bring it in from the left-hand side and also uh, either crop out entirely that top right hand thing or make it more of a feature of the image. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, next image in the landscape category is a few birds. 
a few birds. Image scores 80 points, and uh, I believe we're with Dennis. Thank you. I scored just a 78, uh, just above average image here. And let me explain why I know. I, I, it took me a few seconds to find the title from the title of the birds because there's just so much going on with all the lines. And it's interesting, all the, tr the, the poles are going different directions and it almost looked dilapidated, but with all the differences of lines with the horizontal lines, the vertical lines coming, it was actually kind of a visually confusing image for me. And I had a hard time landing on the subject. So that's why I was in the, the 78. Thank you, sir. Okay, next image in the landscape category is Alone in the Woods. Alone in the woods. You missed score 78 points, Michael. This one's yours. I scored the 78. At first glance, it's a it's a definitely a pretty image. Um, very cold there. You can tell by the snow. Um, and you can see the, the snow coming down still, especially underneath the uh, bench there. The presentation that the maker did on this didn't enhance the image at all. In fact, it kind of subtracted from it. Um, I think I would have used a plain border on the outside. The stroke or key line was just a little bit too big. And then when you put the bevel or emboss on the, the bevel on the inside of the image, it kind of distracts from it, almost makes it look like there was two images put together at the top of the image there. Thank you, Michael. Okay, next image in the landscape category is gentle wave, gentle wave. Image score 78 points, and I think we're back with you, Colin. Yeah, thanks, Nick. Uh, I, 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 I'm enjoying this image because of one thing, and that you, you see a lot of, uh, of these sort of um, uh, soft ocean scenes with waves, and, uh, and, that, and, that, and they're, you know, they're, they're great. Uh, and you see a lot of impactful images with water splashing and that sort of thing. And I think this is it's, it's quite unique in having the two things combined. Uh, it's perhaps a little bit too far over to the right-hand side of the frame, that breaking wave. Um, but I'm, I'm enjoying the, uh, the sort of juxtaposition between the sort of the usual um, smoothness of the waves and that sort of uh, breaking point off on the right-hand side. A bit different. Thank you, sir. Okay, the final image in the landscape category is beautiful view. Beautiful view.
Image scores 80 points. And Dennis, this one's yours. Thank you. No, I uh, scored this in America category. It's indeed a beautiful view. Uh, the thing, couple of things that helped me back is in the lower right, we got this, you know, piercing sand and soul light. Of course, that's a reflection on it, but then the rocks uh, are, of course, a different texture, and they're going dark. And if we could have bounced those out because that light uh, sand really takes you out there. Um, but, you know, I'm looking through the image here and the rocks underneath the house and down along the shoreline, they uh, almost look out of focus there and um, maybe just what I'm seeing there. But the lights on the building are done. They got this a nice time of night. I wish there was more lights on in the house, not just on the porch lights. But uh, beautiful capture. And I'm sure if somebody's trying to sell us home, they'd say, oh, I want to buy that. So 80. Can I make a quick observation in, in, in addition to that? Yeah, please well, do. Yeah, go ahead. The words, the, the title, Beautiful View, when I saw this, I, I think there's some thought needs to be given uh, with titles in general, because to my perspective, the beautiful view is the view that you would get from the house. I'm, I'm getting confused between, is this the beautiful view we're looking at or the beautiful view you'd get from that house? I'm Thank not, you. That's I, I, yeah, I totally understand that it's, it is a beautiful thing we're looking at, but I think that it can be because of confusion sometimes with titles given to photographs that may be my journalistic background. No, it's a good point. Michael, yeah. you have a comment as well? Yeah. Um, if you cropped off the building that's on the right-hand side and cropped it just to the left of the tree to the left of the house, I think it'd be a much stronger image because that one, you keep going back up to that house as instead of concentrating on the one that's directly in front of you, um, I think a stronger image would be a cropped image. Got it. Uh, Stan, you had a question? Yeah, so Colin, you think something more like someone's beautiful view might have been more in, as yeah. a better title? Yeah, because that because I, I totally agree uh, with Michael about the crop in that house on the right-hand side. And if we assume that that's happened, that house there is that is that kind of, it's, it's, it's almost a, the lookout house or the, you know, the view from that, from, from the top. It's something that describes the, the what you're seeing from that house. That's my perspective on it. Otherwise, it's another landscape, seascape shot. It's a lovely one, beautiful colours, nicely sort of technically put together. But I think from a titling point of view, something more representative of the house um, and the view that's got would be uh, more appropriate. Thank you, gentlemen. I think those comments will be very helpful to the maker. We have two images for review in the landscape category. The first one is... Uh, alone in the woods. If you would give me an up or a down, please. Image remains the same. And then the next one is gentle wave. Image remains the same. Okay, at this point, we've reached the halfway point or just after. So we're going to give the judges a brief comfort break. Okay, and we are at exactly 745. So we will resume. Next category is the nature category. And the first image in the nature category is no jacket required. No jacket required. Image scores 79 points. And Colin, I'm going to start again with you. Okay. Um, well, it's a, it's a striking image of a often undesirable wasp, I assume. Um, my observation with this uh, is that it could, it, again, it's cropping with me uh, and framing in the first instance, but I would be, I, I actually quite like the long sort of panoramic sort of view, but I wish everything had been more over towards the left. Um, the plant has some interesting sort of coloration at the top. The wasp could be further over to the right. Not a lot going on behind the wasp. Uh, some more detail uh, with regard to that left-hand side of the of the uh, of the plant. Otherwise, it's a uh, it's a it's a good image of uh, something I'm not very keen on. Thank you very much. Next image in the nature category is in flight. In flight.
Image scores 78 points, and Dennis, this one's yours. Well, what a, a great little capture of this duck coming off the water, it looks like, as the wings flared up there. You know, so I kudos the maker for finding the location and capturing this little duck. But I think, again, time of day, you know, maybe it's early morning, I'm, I'm seeing the light come across the angle there. And so all those reeds and brushes in the background are causing a distraction in the visual sense and then no of course then the wings are blurred and uh, maybe a higher speed or shutter speed will stop that uh you know the angle there but i think the angle is nice i think just a higher shutter speed would have stopped the wings a little better and then uh maybe a shallower depth of field so we got less of the grass there and did some tonality changes there but uh i lit on 78 uh there's some uh, work that need to be done to push up in the 80. thank you sir Next image in the nature category is ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. And the image scores 82 points. Michael, this one's yours. I scored this image in 83. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's sharp. It's crisp. Uh, the eyes are sharp. There's catch lights in the eyes. Um, and I think it's the proper catch light for a bird. Uh, that was supposed to be a joke, but that's okay. Um <laughs> I think it fell flat. Sorry, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the lighting is a struggle a little bit because of the um, the shadow that comes across in front of the wing. Uh, it kind of darkens down that area a little bit. But overall, I think it's a great capture. Thank you, sir. Next image in the nature category is lunch in the shade. Lunch in the shade. Image scores 81 points, and uh, Colin, we're back with you. Yeah, uh, thanks, Nick. Look, I, yeah, I, I really like this. Um, I would normally be a little bit critical of such a tight crop, but I actually think in this instance it works well. Um, I think that uh, the the positioning of the uh, the butterfly, uh, the coloration around it, if it had gone too much for, if it had gone further out, bigger crop, there would have been too much distraction with the darker purples and blues behind. Uh, it's nice and sharp. The light is very even across the wings. Um, we're seeing everything we need to see with no real distractions. And uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a very good composition. Nicely done. Thank you. Next image in the nature category is the lookout. The lookout. Image scores 84 points, and uh, Dennis, this one's yours. I apologize for that beep. Oh, it's all right. Um, hey, thank you. you no, know, I, I scored this in 86, and I was enthralled with this. I mean, the maker found this really 
a graphic piece of nature with all these trees there. And then to have the bird in that upper third point, they're looking out and, uh, you know, they look like it might be an early morning with the, you know, the gray skies out there going on. So there isn't a lot going, but it actually kind of blends and holds everything together there. So I landed in 86. I thought it was a really cool graphic piece with the bird added in there. Thank you. Um, the next image in the uh, nature category is I am shy. I am shy. Image scores 77 points, and uh, Michael, I think. Michael. I believe it is me. There we go. I scored this a 77. Um, initially, I really love the impact of it. The, the color, I think this is a bee. Uh, the colors on the bee are bright, beautiful. Um, the head is pretty dang close to a great exposure and a great uh, sharpness and the front leg you can see the hairs and then you go towards the back of the bee and everything just falls off there the purple colors in the background were very very distracting to me along with the sharpness of the the plant that's in front of him with the bright gold that's on that as well that kind of distracted from me as a little bit and I just also add in there, uh, again, sorry to be a stuck record, but I'm really not sure what the title uh, represents with regard to this picture. Uh, Michael used the phrases bright, beautiful, gold, purples, all bold uh, sort of descriptors, and yet it's called I Am Shy. I'm not seeing that in the image, but that's just a, another observation. Looks like a disco dancer. Any, anything but shy. There we go. Um... Thank you. Definitely appreciate the comment. I'm sure the maker will uh, uh, listen and learn from that. And the next, in fact, the final image in the nature category is eat and fly. Eat and fly. Image scores, Eddie points, and Colin, we're back with you. Um, yep, thanks. It's um, who doesn't love a hummingbird? They're beautiful. It's uh, it's nicely captured, nice and sharp around the eye and the uh, and the feathers on top, which is beautiful. Um, my observation on this one would be to return to the to the cropping. Um, I would like to see the bird more in the top left hand corner of the frame, so a little bit more uh, space behind and to the bottom right of the bird to show that sort of give that representation of elevation within the picture. Um, otherwise, it's a uh, it's a very good capture of a very fast moving hummingbird. Excellent. Thank you. OK, that wraps up the uh, nature category. And do we have any full review, Mr. Stan? Uh, I see, oh, two for review. Um, I'm just waiting for my colleagues to give me numbers. Okay. Um, this gets tricky. First image for review is uh, no jacket required. Image remains the same. And then the next image for review is in flight. Mm -hmm. 
image remains the same. Okay, the next category is the photographic artist, and uh, the first image in the photographic artist category is sunshine on a stem. Sunshine on a stem. Image scores 83 points, and Dennis, this one is yours. Well, thank you. I took this as purely as a graphic piece that somebody's taken the insight to uh, find and to create and to put this all together. I love the little intertwined little stems. They've got all the little triangular composition, the little flowers, and uh, they got all the triangular composition between the flowers and the vase and everything going on for it against that high key background. Uh, you know, I'm not real excited about the shadow down at the bottom the way it is, uh, but uh, the boy, I was 85 and I was real happy with this. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next image in the um, photographic artist category is pattern of leaves. Pattern of leaves. Image scores 82 points, and uh, Michael, this one's yours. I scored this an 80. Um, I think it's a beautiful image. The the repeating patterns going all the way through are fantastically handled. What I would like to see is a little bit more depth to the leaves. Um, there's, there's a technique where you can, when you're doing this, you can add a little bit more to each layer as it comes up and spins around um, and add more depth to it. But other than that, it's beautiful. The colors are, are beautiful. Uh, the treatment on the image is nice. Very well handled. Thank you. Next image in the photographic artist category is Spiral of Birds. Spiral of Birds. Image scores 82 points. Colin, we're back with you. Thanks, Nick. I really like this. Um, I know we, we see a few of these um, and trying to make that sort of differentiation uh, is always a challenge. I like the, uh, very much like where it ends, the way it goes up into that top right-hand corner and has those uh, petals uh, forcing forward, which again gets me the question, spiral of birds versus spiral of, uh, of plants, but that's just me being uh, me. Um, but I, I like the way that the uh, the outer edges of the plant and, and the whole overall image uh, is striking, but it's also got a softness to it. Um, you don't see that so often. Everything's normally very sharp edges, very sort of clean. Uh, this has a sense of sort of softness about it as well, which I think is, uh, is a very uh, is a good job done. Colin, they're called birds of paradise. It's probably uh, not familiar to you. And where you're at, right. that's what they're yeah, called. We have, we, have a, we have a plant in Australia which looks very similar to that. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, my apologies to the uh, to the artist for my uh, um, biological misreference. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> it's, it's okay. 
It could be something totally different in that side of the world, yeah. <laughs> but it actually, that raises one of the interesting challenges, which is with an international panel of judges, um, we can't always assume that everyone has the same frame of reference. And it's it's been, we've seen this challenge over the years that sometimes you'll have a title which makes perfect sense to the maker, but because the, the judge, uh, or even sometimes the announcer doesn't know uh, doesn't have the context, then it can get lost. So just something to remember um, when you're working on your images. Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you for that comment. And then the final image in the photographic artist category is Heart of the Sun. Heart of the Sun. Which scores 82 points, Dennis. This one's yours. Well, thank you. You know, boy, sometimes them coming up, people coming up the titles really helps with these images. And because this is one of those images that just uh, really grabbed your eye the color, the tones, the design is what grabbed me. Uh, you know, th the shadows at the top where the little feathers come in between that. Uh, was a little bothersome to me, but overall, you know, it was really the graphics that drew me in for the merit. Thank you. Um, and Stan, do we have any images for review? A very short pause. Uh, no images. Oh, you can't hear me. That's weird. It keeps going on mute. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no images for review. Thank you. Okay, so the next category is photojournalism. And the first image in the photojournalism category um, is Rush Hour Surabaya. Rush Hour Surabaya. One more time. What This is PG photojournalism? You this said? is photojournalism, correct. Okay. And it's Rush Hour Surabaya. I apologize to the maker if I'm mispronouncing it. That's the best I can do. Image scores 79 points, and uh, Michael, I believe this one's yours. I scored this 80. Um, the title is very apropos. I might have cropped off another half an inch on the bottom there to make it um, even tighter and maybe crop off a little bit off the top as well. So you compact all those motorcycles into this massive scene. Um, I think it works great in black and white. I'd love to see the color image of this as well, but uh, yeah, just cropping a little bit more would enhance it and make it more compressed and more um, emotion driven. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, next image in the photojournalism, ca photojournalism category is Surfer Girl, Surfer Girl. Image scores 78 points and Colin, we're back with you. Uh, thanks, Nick. Yeah, well, it's, uh, as I say, I, I, so you see a lot of these, uh, the sort of the ocean scenes, and uh, this is, again, is a nice balance between the softness and the, the sharpness of the uh, of the surfer. Obviously, the face and the head uh, obviously suffers from the uh, the effects of the sort of long exposure and the panning. 
Um, but otherwise, it's uh, it tells a story of uh, of life by the ocean. It's a nice composition. Thank you, sir. Okay, next image in the photojournalism category: fighting fires from the sky. Fighting fires from the sky. Image scores 87 points. And Dennis, this one is yours. Bowser, you know, I, this is a really cool capture. You got to think that uh, helicopter there. So there's another vehicle up there photographing that one. And uh, no, so the maker of this uh, created a, a great composition. And the center composition is really strong on this for me. Uh, especially when it's going into the cloud and coming into all the haze and cloud and smoke there, their, their vision's obscured and they got the nozzle down there putting the chemicals on the fire there. So, but I think the, they've done a nice job. They've kept the rotors blurry in a faction, but the helicopter itself is sharp. And so kudos to them for that. I like the color, the design, the tone of the whole thing. Uh, nice presentation. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you. And then the if, final, go ahead. If I, if I can make one quick comment, if of it course. was making, if it was making a drop right now and you can see it coming out of the hose, <laughs> that would add probably uh, two points per gallon coming out. <laughs> That would probably exceed the 100 point maximum, but that's okay. That's a, good, that's a very good point. But uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, and the final image in the photojournalism category is Eye on the Ball. Eye on the Ball. Image score 79 points, Michael. This one's yours. I might have held this out of the merit categories the bad guy. I scored it a 77. Um, I understand the title of the image and where it came from. There's just so much distractions that the ball and even the people are kind of buried in the buildings. Um, my eye tends to wander all over the place, going to the top of the buildings, the balconies, um, the dead plant on the left-hand side at the very front there. Um, if you crop that out and crop it in a little bit tighter, um, you'd probably get more emphasis on the ball and, and the title, Eye on the Ball. Um, it just, there's so many distractors in there, I couldn't merit it. Thank you. Can I just add, just quickly, that, sorry, Nick. Just yeah, please, no, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Way of a challenge, but just, I suppose, mindful of the fact that it is a photojournalism category. Um, and, you know, it, it, there are some technical issues. I would certainly crop it differently to make it more impactful myself. But I think it, it, just from a point of view of the fact that it's trying to tell a story of a lifestyle and, and another time and place, um, I think that should always be given consideration as well. And, you know, that, that, that person has captured that time and place well. Excellent point. Thank you. Okay, we have three images for review. The first one is Russia Surabaya. Image remains the same. And then the next one is um, right after it. Yeah. Surfer yeah. girl. Surfer girl. Okay, it's a super girl. <laughs> so, so I was, that's why I was puzzled. Surfer 63, girl. 64, 66. The three off. There you go. Mm -hmm. And the image remains the same. And then the final image review is Eye on the Ball. 
image becomes a merit. Excellent. Okay. And now we move into the portrait category. And the first image in the portrait category is I woof you. I woof you. Image scores 83 points, and Colin, we're back with you. Yeah, well, two words, too cute. <laughs> uh, that's a great shot. Um, I, I like I, this lovely personality capturing the dog with the eyes, beautiful, uh, beautiful sharp eyes, nice catch light reflection there on some trees, uh, which adds to it the beautiful glow, uh, early morning or late afternoon glow behind as well, which is acting as that sort of natural backlight uh, and uh, good depth of field, uh, nice cropping. So I don't think the uh, photographer's uh, done a great job. Nice low perspective as well, which is always good to see. Thank you. Next image in the portrait category is my great grandpa watch. Great, sorry, my great grandpa pocket watch. Image scores 82 points. Dennis, this one's yours. Thank you. You know, I scored an 83 on this image, and sometimes I feel like classical portraiture kind of gets overlooked. Uh, but this is one of those images that the simplicity of the image has, leads to the strength of the image. With this young man, he's uh, you know doing his little portrait there for his mom, and he's got that watch and this attached to his belt. He's very proud of it. But you know they've got nice lighting on them. They're using kind of the center composition for the strength of this image. Uh, I feel maybe the hand was toned down just a tad, but uh, the look on his face, the luminance on his face is wonderful. So I was in the merit category for this. Thank you. Okay, next image in the portrait category is a warm welcome. A warm welcome. Image scores 88 points on Michael. This one is yours. I'm going to challenge that. Um, I scored at a 90. Um, I put it in the superior category. I just really love the whole image. Uh, the dog is crisp and sharp like it should be, and the rest of the image is soft and out of focus. Um, the bright orange might be a little bit too bright in the background, but you know what? It's it's very pleasing. The greens are pleasing. Um, I want to hear my other judges and hear what they have to say. Colin, your comments. I totally agree that it's an excellent image. I mean, I've given it an 85. Um, I think in keeping with uh, um, you know, the other dog image as well, it's sort of up there and definitely uh, the beautiful backlight, that sort of, uh, that sort of glow is amazing. I would, I would have liked to see a little bit of a, a more of a crop uh, on the right hand side just a subtle little bit so we kept those make that leading line of the fence going around a bit more sort of striking but i i'm i, I totally agree that it's a that it's a, an excellent image and uh, yeah borderline superior well you know i nice. i was an 88 
and I wanted to go zing on this bad boy. But, you know, as I looked at it for a second, Michael, I just point a couple of things. If you look around the, the little puppy's head, there's a glow around the head, and there's those white spots right behind the head. Now, we start getting in this kind of category. We start getting really technical about some things. And I wanted to so bad putting this in the higher category. But, you know, we got those white areas going right behind the ears and head. Uh, so it's kind of a glow around there that didn't get blended in as well. Clear back underneath that whole fence line. And then that fence line, those grasses in the left-hand side are so out of key of everything else that's in the photograph that could have been easily toned down. So with a couple of those little fixes and things, I think this would really take off. And, you know, I would probably take off a little bit of that uh, hard vignette across that lower right in the bottom left, uh, make it a little more tone in because I know they're trying to bring the tonals in there, but then you got that green behind the heads and everything else. I wanted to go higher, but, you know, the, I'm still giving an 88, which is very good. But, you know, there's just a few things that keep me from going the higher category, Michael. Um, I, in rebuttal, Michael? I see what you're saying. Um, definitely on the vignetting on the bottom right, I have to agree with you 100% on that. The the white behind the dog's head, I think, is just the bright light coming back and reflecting in the hair, backlighting the hair a little bit. Um, I'm I'm struggling. I don't know if it was burned, the dog was burned down and not the grass area behind it or what the story is. I really still enjoy the image and feel it's in the superior category. I'm going to stick with the 90 on this. Okay, please rescore. Or he said. Image scores 88 points. Okay, the next image in the portrait category is Shadows and Grace. Shadows and Grace. Image scores 83 points, and I think this one's my call. Uh, Collins, I think. I Collins, just... I beg your pardon, I get lost after challenges. Collins, go for Correct. it. Thanks, Thanks Michael. Thanks, uh, Nick. Um, yeah, I really like this image. Um, it, there's consideration has been given to where the shadows fall across the subject. Um, you know, obviously across the face is always a challenge. There's going to need to be some delineation, and I think the photographer's got that, uh, got that right. Um, the positioning of the model again with the uh, the texture change or the angular angular change at the top is good too. Um, my only observation would be I'd be interested to see what they look like in black and white. Um, otherwise, it's a good shot. Thank you, sir. Um, sorry for my confusion there. Okay, the final image in the portrait category is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Eighty-one points, and Dennis, you get to close out the night for us. Well, thank you very much. I scored a eighty-three on this, and indeed, it's gorgeous. Um, I really enjoyed uh, the whole concept. I think the photographer did a nice job. I uh, the problem for me again is with you know, cropping the hair clear into the top of the piece of the of the mat, and then we get those little fingertips 
that got the light hitting on top of those fingertips. And then we got the dark wrist and then the light that's coming on the forearm back into the, uh, as matching into the frame. And then I know it seems a little petty, but then down below in the lower bottom uh, right, just that little blip of the dress, it's got a little bit of flesh there that can be easy to take care of. And some things there that would have just pushed this thing over a lot further. But, you know, I put it in the uh, merit category and uh, I thought it was gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the main section of uh, judging, and uh, I think the judge did an amazing job. We now will go into the tiebreakers, and I'm going to unshare my screen so that Kim can share her Lightroom, and that way uh, we can see the images side by side. So I'm just going to make everybody hungry. <laughs> because I eat cake. <laughs> you don't eat cakes, Dan? I said, let them eat cake. Oh, let them eat cake. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, judging tonight's been a piece of cake, so why not? There we go. I can even disappear from it and just have the cake, <laughs> which is a much better view. I yes. want to thank all you guys personally for judging for us tonight. You've done an awesome job. Absolutely. Okay, so these are the three images that tied in the master category for illustrative. So if you tell me which one you don't like, I can take it away until we have one left standing. So we're just picking one, correct? Correct, you're yes. picking one. So you can either eliminate two or just pick one. I have my favorite. Do we type it in or tell you? Tell me. You can just talk, it's much easier. Um, the, the one on the right for me one in the middle for me. <laughs> uh -oh. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> no, I'm not going to throw a spanner in the works. I'm going to go for the one on the right, too. I could live with that. That's two to one. So this one will then be our winner, leader of the pack. OK, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for just a moment. Keep hearing a song when I hear it, hear that title. I hear a song. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, please don't start singing. I'm just doing motorcycle noises, noises. I won't sing. Thank you. I'm sorry I encourage that. That's okay. <laughs> it doesn't take much to encourage him. We all know this. You know me well. A bit. I just want to say something to all the people out there. There's no losers tonight. Everybody's a winner. I hope everybody learned. There were some awesome images tonight, and I hope everybody just learned from everybody else's images as well. So I think everybody should be learning from this. And so everybody's a winner tonight, in my opinion. Thank you very much, Dennis, for yeah. those kind words. I'm sure our members hey. will uh, take that in stride and enjoy it. Okay, the next tiebreaker is for the regular category in landscape, and there are four images. For Dennis, it'd be the dock, upper left. For Mike, it's the bottom right the beach scene for me it's the top right <laughs> <laughs> okay so we can take this one away yes okay <laughs> next and colin i could switch over to the top right i like that and just as well so i could switch over to that and i i go with you on that one we can I make just, it up I, I just think from i mean i i don't wish to say that left hand top left hand is a, is a tremendous landscape uh the bottom one i think i made my points clear on that one as well but in the right one just shows a little bit more uh sort of discerning sort of nature from the photographer that you know the early start the the conditions the sort of framing it's had it, there's some work that could be done on it but that's my favorite those three we well, can make big, it a three-o vote 
Well, the biggest problem with that one on the upper right is they didn't call me to go with them. So I'm really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, Dennis. I feel you. <laughs> okay. So good to remove the one on the bottom. No, it's the yep. upper right's the winner. Okay. Upper right is the winner. Yeah. We're going to go with that one. Got, okay. Yeah. So this is the winner. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. See, this is what it's all about is teamwork and everybody working together as a team on the journey. That's what it's all about. Would you shut up? <laughs> hey. Don't make me come over and punch you. <laughs> well, that's what it takes to get you over here. I'm waiting for the invite. I'm ready to go to Yosem or Yellowstone anytime. After the tourist season. Too go. late. Too late. Is it turning into a busy season this year? Yeah, with everybody, with everybody coming uh, out of the pandemic, everybody's yeah. coming over here, so it's getting really. Last year, they actually they had one of the biggest years uh, around. Really? Well, it's because all the local states drove into it, and nobody could drive, and so a lot of the foreign countries couldn't come. So a lot of people decided to come to the park Got because it. the foreign countries weren't coming over. Yep. Yep. That makes sense. Well, that's good from an economic perspective, but probably not so good from a uh, environmental perspective. I know that the park gets hit pretty hard when it gets a lot of visitors. Yes. So okay, we... these images are the best of category images for the master category. So I'm going to give you a moment to think on that, and I'm going to read the names and who the winners are for best of categories. And while I'm doing that, you guys can look and think on what which one would be best of show? For Dennis the bird. I agree. Okay. The bird is at, at a unanimous. I've got two out of three. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I I can be persuaded. It's a great shot. I mean, they're all great, but we just they're have to pick great. one. Yeah. I would love yeah. that wedding shot to have her looking up back towards the camera. Yeah, there's a few things with that wedding shot I think could be done. It's, it's a really good, great location, yes. great opportunity. Just could have been tweaked a bit more. I love the portrait. I think that's a, I just just jumps out at me, but I, I think the bird is, is pretty amazing. Okay, so congratulations for, to Bruce Bonet on Eyes in the Sky, and that is best of class for nature and best of show for um, the master category. The image in the top left, this one right here. Can you guys see my cursor? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Leader of the pack. This one over here is the leader of the pack. It is the best of class for illustrative in the master category. And that's by Bruce Bonet. This one over here, Transcendental Yogi, is best in class, the master category for photographic artist. And that is... Hold on, I got Ramiro. Ramiro Gaitan. I, be, I believe that's Ramiro's. If I'm mistaken, please let me know. In the photojournalism class, we have COVID Boredom by Rebecca Lee, which is our polar bear over here. In the portrait for master category is Rockabilly by Jerry Stevenson. And in our wedding category, it's The Bride by Ramiro. Gaitan, the master for the master category for the wedding. Kudos, 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 everybody. Congratulations to everybody. Great work. Yeah, okay, so this go. is the regular division. So in the regular division, these are the best of category winners. So of these, you guys need to pick best of show. Um, so, so you're not division. you're not going by score. You're going by judge's choice on this. Is that correct? Correct. That is correct. That is correct. I'm going for the uh, the helicopter. I think that's a very very striking image. Ditto. Oh, it's a two to one vote. So I'm voting for the dog. I already know I'm outvoted. That's okay. Okay. So that. So best of show then would be the photojournalism one for fighting fires from the sky. And that's my image. So thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> <Great job. laughs>
Sorry, Kim. This one up here in the top corner, this is the commercial category, lunchtime rooftop getaway. Uh, the winner is Jim DeLule. Congratulations, Jim. Yay. Great job, Jim. In the illustrative category, or illustrative, however you want to say it, um, is Black Crown Night Heron. That's my image, so thank you. Nice. In the landscape category, this is Mist on Mount Ijin or Ijin. I don't know how you pronounce it. Sorry, but the winner of that is Brad Toms. Congratulations, Brad. Great job, John. Brad. Does anyone know how that's actually correctly pronounced? I J E N? I figured it was Ion or Ihan. Probably. But, I don't see Brad on. I honestly don't know. Oh, well. Sorry if we In got it the wrong. nature category, we have the lookout, which is Kim Shapiro, which is me. Sweet. And in the photographic artist, we have Sunshine on a Stem by Annette Gregory. Congratulations. And then our portrait is A Warm Welcome by Amelia Durham. Thank, uh, congratulations, Amelia. Beautiful. Well, that brings us, so that brings us to the end of the evening. I wanted to thank our illustrious judges once again for uh, informative, knowledgeable, and fun judging. So great job, gentlemen, um, from wherever you are, uh, parts foreign or at least parts distant. And uh, thank you for taking time to, to do this. I wanted to thank all of our contributors for a phenomenal set of images. It's really nice to see you know, lively competition. And please continue to compete and encourage your friends and colleagues to do so as well. Um, and in particular, just let them know that, uh, you know, this is a learning exercise, as um, Dennis so aptly put it, every, nobody's a loser here, everybody wins from learning from the comments from the judges and judges, we really appreciate that. I, I know uh, many of us have been through that and know the, uh, the benefits, but if you've not yet started judging, just encourage people to start. It's fun, it's gentle, and it's a great way to learn. Uh, finally, I'd like to thank my scoring team, uh, Stan, Annette, and Kim. Uh, they do a ton of work behind the scenes, and uh, without them, this would never happen. So thank you, guys. And then Bruce Bonet, who is not on, but he did all the prep work for getting the scoring sheets to work. And with that, I'll call the evening to a close. This is Nick Seth Smith, um, and uh, I want to thank you for joining IEPPV's May Image Competition 2021.